Hi boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, so today I am going to be reading plant problems to you and then kind of explaining what your um, work for this passage is. So I'm going to get started reading plant problems while I'm reading. Um, if you have the paper, um, you can follow along. If not, you can always just follow along with me reading. So um, keep in mind that the key question that we are trying to answer in our reading is how are the characters and the setting connected in this story? How are the characters and the setting connected in this story? So plant problems. Sandy rushed in. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. We're waiting for dad, said Marcus. Let me guess. Talking plants? Yes. The plant by the school was especially chatty today. She told me all about some woman's new hat. We've got to solve this problem, said Mom. The entire town is going to pieces. No one is on time for anything. I think I hear your dad. I'm sorry I'm late. We know plant problems again? asked Sandy. Yes, I'm exhausted. So many complaints today. Being chief gardener is harder every day, said, day, said dad. What if we ignore the plants? Sandy asked. We can't ignore the plants. They're important to the town. They guard our streets and protect us. It's our duty to care for them. That means watering, feeding, and talking to them, said Dad. You remember what happened the last time someone didn't talk to a plant? We nearly lost all the ones growing on Mill Street, said Mom. They were so sad. I remember those poor plants could hardly stand. It took me four hours of sweet talk to get them back in shape, added Dad. I might have a solution, said Marcus. I tried a little experiment today. I found this joke book at school. On my way home, I told a joke, I told a plant a joke. She started laughing. Pretty soon, all the plants next to her were laughing, too. I only had to stop for a moment. I wasn't even late getting home. It's true, said Mom. He was on time. The family tested Marcus's plan after dinner. Each plant they met loved the jokes. They were too distracted to keep talking. Marcus's dad shared the joke secret with everyone. Soon, the town was filled with laughter and hardly anyone was ever late again. Then there's this did you know down in the corner. Children, on average, laugh 300 times a day. Sadly, adults only laugh about 17 times a day. Hmm, very interesting fact. So, what you're going to be doing in your questions is writing the title of this story, writing um, the characters. It seems like there were several characters in this story writing what the setting is. So where is this story taking place? Then talk about what the problem is. Think about what the problem was that the whole town seemed to have. And then tell us what the solution that that town came up with, or Marcus for that matter actually, what was the solution that they came up with? And then down at the very bottom, do not forget to answer that very last question that asks you to answer our key question. Our key question was, um, how are the characters and the setting in the story connected? So what that means is, how do they go together? So if I was talking about um, a story dealing with the moon, I wouldn't talk about sea creatures because they just, that wouldn't necessarily go together. Um, obviously, this is a little bit of a fun story 
because it's uh, it's talking about plants uh, that can talk. But overall, think about how the, the characters in the story and the setting go together. All right, I know you guys will do wonderful with this. And if you need to, you can always replay the story or underline the story if you have it um, either on the Google Slides or if you have it like the actual paper part.